Well, hello. It's great to see you again. Welcome back. Hey, listen, this is another video that's gonna change your life. So once again, I wanna invite you to please watch the whole thing through because it's really that amazing. Now, I assume that at this point, you've probably seen the Breath of Life video, but if you haven't seen that, it might be important to watch that first. This one is kind of a follow-up. You see, when I first started working with the Breath of Life, after several weeks, I had this curious thought. What would happen if you did it in reverse? And so I practiced breathing out for seven seconds, holding my breath for three, and then breathing in into my heart. What happened was actually amazing. This breath was equally as powerful as the breath of life, but it had a very different purpose, an inverted purpose, if anything. This breath, which came to be known within me as the breath of death and resurrection, is a space for you to allow old energies, stagnant belief systems and thoughts, upset emotions, anger, shame, or other inner states of this nature to be able to be cleansed and purified and all in all transform those energies into that of a higher nature. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, when I began working with this, just like I taught in the first video, I was working with it the seven seconds and three seconds. However, I was also activating my Merkaba at the same time of learning these breaths. And so after some time, I shifted my breathing to match the Merkaba, which is a pattern of eight second breath and a four second hold. And so this video, we're going to explore using the breath of death and resurrection with a one second increase on both the breath and the hold compared to last time. In this, it'll be a fun experiment to notice how it feels differently for everyone who goes through it together. So afterwards, if you feel called, please share your experience in the comments. It's always welcome. Now, using this breath today, I'm going to show it to you in a different way than I showed you the breath of life. This one, instead of doing four affirmations that we'll go through, instead, you're going to focus on one particular thing, some low negative energy that you're feeling that you want to purify, and then we'll cleanse that energy using the breath by doing it 33 times. 33 is a sacred number because it's how many vertebrae we have in our spines. And so by focusing on this breath, you're going to be aligning yourself with a higher frequency through your entire spine, which is why it's very important to have good posture when you do this. And so with that, please take a moment to get yourself into a comfortable meditative position and we'll begin. Now, understanding the breath of death and resurrection is very simple. Last time, where there was a visualization of the Ankh upright, now what we're going to do is turn the Ankh upside down and put the line under your feet. Under your feet, there is the Ankh circle shape, which is going to hold the whole earth with the stem of the Ankh extending up your spinal column and your chakra column. As you breathe out, we're going to be letting all of the energy flow down to the earth below your feet. You're going to be offering to her all of this energy to be transmuted. And so as you breathe out, you'll be letting go and surrendering this energy to the spirit of the earth who knows what to do with it and can transmute it in her heart. So you allow this energy to pass through you and you send it down to the earth. If you're in an apartment and you're above other people, you can set the intention that the energy goes straight to the earth and doesn't pass through any other people who might be in between you and the planet. This will be the visualization for the first 11 breaths. For the second 11 breaths, the earth will change into the sun. And then you'll be visualizing sending your energy to the sun below your feet to be transformed and transmuted by the fires of the ultimate flame. And for the final 11 breaths, that sun will become the entire galaxy and your prana or energy column that runs along your spine will be aligned with the center of the galaxy. This was the process that I learned it with as the galaxy, the Supreme Great Mother, is so much more capable of transmuting some of the heaviest stuff. And so you offer yourself to each of these powers of creation and receive their support in the transmutation of those energies. And with every single breath, you're breathing back the purified energy back into your heart. And that extends out into your whole field, cleansed and purified. One final thing I want to speak to before we begin is the acknowledgement that some of our suffering is very great and that this practice may take some time to work with particularly big energies. But I promise you, going through it even one time will still cause things to move 
and you'll feel it, and we'll see it in the comments with everyone talking about it after. Please take a moment to feel within you whatever the biggest struggle is that you're facing right now. If there isn't any negativity, then you can just allow your ego to go through this practice so that it might become more aligned with the soul underlying your thoughts and actions. Take a moment now to become present with this struggle, this negative energy. We're not acting on it, we're just being present right now, feeling the feeling and letting it move through us, allowing a gentleness and an acceptance that it is here within you and it's ready to be moved. You can take a moment to just allow this to move through you and know that it's okay. You're healing it now. And now with that, with all of this energy present, let's do the breath of death and resurrection 33 times.
congratulations, you did it. That was 33 breaths of death and resurrection. How do you feel? As your breathing returns to normal, just take the next few minutes to really be present in your body. You can even pause and do some journaling if you'd like to, or share your experience in the comments. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. Everything is connected. I love you and thank you so much. I'll see you next time.